Grab each cube and say the color. Red. White. Blue. So in this project, we're going to learn how to use text-to-speech, how to control the rate of the speech, the volume of the speech, the voices of the speech, and the text of the speech itself. So first I loaded the voices because it takes a little while to load the voices. To use different voices, you're going to need an internet connection. So here I'm declaring my voices object because I'm using it inside of a function later and I'm going to use it outside of a function later on. I'm declaring a new speech synthesis utterance instance and I'm putting it in the object msg or message. So everything that I need to control will be in that message object. The volume, the rate, and the text that's going to be read out loud. And then I'm loading the voices into this voices object using the get voices method. Now this is going to take a little bit of a time so I'm using a set timeout method to do that. If you console log the voices object, you'll see an array of all the different voices that you can use. It has the name of the voice and the language of the voice. And there's all types of different languages that you can use, both male and female. So let's look at how the question was read out loud first. So first I'm going to show the question and then say the question. So my question is in this questions array. It only has one question, but you can add more. I have a span element with an ID of question and this span element will show the question. So I'm getting that span element by ID and I'm putting it in the object question span. And then I'm making the inner text of that question span equal to the first question in my questions array. So now that question span will show the first question. Now let's read it out loud. So the lang property is the language of that message and there's a whole bunch of different languages. I made it English Great Britain but there's others like Korean, Spanish, French. We could change it to Spanish. Gravit, say de color. The rate property sets the speed of the speech. So the lower the number, the slower it will be. You'll have to play with this number because some of the voices speak a little faster than the others. You can set the volume of that message and I'm using the text property to put the text that's going to be read out loud. I'm making it equal to the first question in that questions array. And to make it read out loud, we're going to use the speak method, and it's going to speak that message text. And it's that easy. So now let's control the voices when the colors of the cube are read out loud. So I made three cubes, red, white, and blue. And the name property will be the color of the cube. So the white cube will have a name property of white. That's what's going to be read out loud. And in my drag controls for my drag start event listener, so if I am dragging the cube that is a name of red, I'm setting the voice of that speech to the first voice in that voices array. If I'm dragging a cube with a name of white, I'm setting the voice of that text to the second voices in that voices array. And if I'm dragging a blue cube with a name of blue, then I'm setting the voice of that message to the third voice in that voices array. So that's how I'm controlling the voices here. And the rest is the same. I'm setting the text of that message to the name property value of that object I'm dragging. I'm setting the rate or speed of that text that's going to be read out loud. And I'm setting the volume of that speech. And I'm using the speak method to say that message out loud. So there you go. That's how you can use text to speech in 3JS.